Welcome back. There is a new book about Abraham Lincoln called The Lincoln Conspiracy by Brad Meltzer. This is about a time of Abraham Lincoln's life that many people aren't aware of. Here's more. Today I am talking with best-selling author Brad Meltzer. He reveals lessons in courage and leadership from Abraham Lincoln, plus the work of famed detective Alan Pinkerton and one of the first female private eyes in America in his new book, The Lincoln Conspiracy. Thank you, Brad, for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. So you're a best-selling author. What made you decide to write this book? You know, it was just the most incredible story that I'd seen. We all know the story of John Wilkes Booth ending Abraham Lincoln's presidency. But this is actually about the first secret plot to kill Lincoln at the very start. Because to be sworn in as America's 16th president, Abraham Lincoln had to take a train from his home in Springfield, Illinois, to Washington, D.C. But the only way to get there is you had to go through Baltimore. And Maryland at the time was a slave state. So the plot was very simple. A secret society planned to murder Abraham Lincoln when he came through Baltimore and end his presidency before it even began. And when I heard that story, I was like, I need to know more about that. Well, absolutely. It is intriguing. There are many books about Lincoln, of course, but what, why do you think none have really focused on this chapter of his life? You know, because, listen, this was the number one story of the day when it happened. And then you know what happened after that? The Civil War broke out. You know what happened after that? Abraham Lincoln is shot in the head. And when that happens, this story becomes a footnote, but its details are amazing. There's a speeding train in the middle of the night. Passenger train has lots of passengers. We're focused on three of them. There's a businessman, there's a woman, and her invalid brother. And none of them are who they say they are. The businessman is actually Alan Pinkerton. He's the famed private detective and head of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. The woman is Kate Warren, America's first female private eye. Wait until you see her. She's amazing. And her so-called brother isn't her brother, and he's certainly not an invalid. He's Abraham Lincoln. They put him in a disguise. They whisk him away in the middle of the night, and they're trying to save him from the secret society that's trying to kill him. And I can tell you, that's chapter one of the Lincoln Conspiracy. I just ruined chapter one for you, but that's how it opens. What an intriguing plot. I am absolutely fascinated. I actually love books on Lincoln, so I can't wait to dig into this. What else surprised you as you wrote this book and as you did the research? You know, one of my favorite scenes in the book, uh, and this one caught me off guard, was when they tell Abraham Lincoln for the first time that there's a plot to kill him. And they knock on his door in his hotel room, and they say, listen, you have an event in Philadelphia tomorrow, sir, but we need you to skip the event. We're going to get you out of there early, get you through Baltimore early. We're going to save your life. And Abraham Lincoln says, I'm not missing the event in Philadelphia. And they're like, why? You know what's happened in Philly the next day? Abraham Lincoln is going there to honor the birthday of one of his favorite heroes, a man named George Washington. And he won't miss it. He wants to honor one of his heroes, George Washington. He goes the next day. He gives the speech at Independence Hall. He honors George Washington just like he wants to. And he says there, we need to stand together as a nation, but if not, you might as well assassinate me. He knows in that moment, we found the original speech he gave that day. And he knows in that moment when Josh found it, I was like, oh my gosh, you got to read this. He knew that there was a plot to kill him at the time, and yet he still was there. And right after that moment happens is when they whisk him away. I won't tell you how they get him out of there, but how they get him out of there and save his life. And it's just one of the most amazing lost moments in history. I'm so glad that you brought it to light. Now, you've written several other books, some for children. Have you always been fascinated with history? Yeah, you know, because I think history is not just a story, a bunch of dates and facts you memorize. History tells us who we are. And all the history that hasn't happened yet in the future, that's all history that's waiting to be written. So you can see and we can learn from that. So when you look at this, I love saying that we found the secret plot to kill Abraham Lincoln. That's great to say. But what's far more interesting is the context of where he was at the time. This is as the Civil War is about to break. The country's divided in two. Each side of the country hates the other side. Whatever side you're on, you think the other side are horrible, awful people. Does that sound familiar to you? It's exactly where we are right now. And what does Abraham Lincoln do at that time? He doesn't divide us further. He unites us. That's the leadership we need right now, right? We need the leadership lessons of Abraham Lincoln. Right, so much of it does ring true, and this story, with all of its supporting individuals, that does that first female private eye in America, just really am looking forward to reading this. It'll be really a great time to dig in. Where can we find this book? 
So you can find it at any local bookstore. And to support your local bookstores, there's some great ones out there, of course. And you can find it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or any other place online. Um, and listen, I love that people want it for Mother's Day and Father's Day, but I like even more that they take to heart this one message, which is that we take our heroes right now. We do a huge disservice because what we do is we build statues of them. We worship at their feet. And we do them a huge disservice because we treat them like they're better than us. They're just like us. And anyone you look up to, Abraham Lincoln, Rosa Parks, you know, Dr. King, anyone else you look up to, had moments where they were scared and terrified, but still went on. And you'll see in this, at the beginning of Lincoln's presidency, you see the mistakes he makes. You see how nervous he is. He loses the inaugural address. You see when they, when they tell him he's going to be president, he's playing handball on the back of the building. Just a regular, ordinary person. And all of us are brave and we are cowards and all of us are amazing and we are scared. And some of us in the same day, some of us in the same few minutes, that's not a bad thing. It just means we're human beings. So I love that people can take the lessons of leadership and see the person that Abraham Lincoln really is in this book. Well, your passion for history and the lessons we can learn from it is contagious and also very inspiring. Thanks, Brad, for joining us today. The book is The Lincoln Conspiracy by Brad Meltzer. Thank you so much.